In this video, we are going to see how to switch the database to MSSQL in Real Time Tracker 11.0. Subscribe the Technodi channel and hit the bell icon to get the update notifications. Real Time Tracker 11.0 by default comes up with MS Access Database, but if you need, you can switch to MS SQL Database easily. And for Microsoft SQL Database in Real Time Tracker, make sure you have SQL Server already installed in your computer. Default login credentials, username, admin and password is also, admin. There are two ways, to switch to MS SQL database. Get the real time tracker 11.0, MS SQL table script. Create database and table in SQL, using the script. Now from administrator option in software, put the database credentials then save, and restart the software. Else, from administrator select the database, put the SQL server credentials, put the database name and create database. Go to administration, select database backup mode. Here, from choose database select the SQL server, then you will see the options to enter the database credentials. Now here, put the SQL server name, database name, SQL username and SQL password. Make sure SQL is already installed, if not installed then watch the video, from link in the description and, install SQL server first. But if it's already installed then open it. You can install any version of SQL Server, there is no condition. Log in with the SQL credential you have already defined. Click on new query, and create a database. For example, type create database real time tracker 11.0, to create database. Now database created successfully, just select the database. Now, get the real time tracker 11.0 SQL table script, and open that DB script in notepad. Select all and copy all the script. Now paste the table script here and execute.
Now run the software again. From administration, database backup mode, put the SQL credentials. Get the SQL server name. Put the database name that already created. Now put the SQL username and password then save it. Now if credentials are correct, you will get a successful message. And if you click on OK it will restart the software. Now if you go to administration, data back mode, you can see what is the current database. Now let's add few employees and check in SQL database. Now let's check in SQL database directly. Execute the query. Select star from MST employee for checking the employee details. Here it shows. Means it's confirmed now that the software is on SQL database. Go to Administration. Select Database Backup Mode. Here, from Choose Database select the SQL Server. Then you will see the options to enter the database credentials. Now here. Put the SQL server name, database name, SQL username and SQL password, and click on create database. If it's successful then you will see message and software will get restart.